And now the biggest decision of the day is what bikini to put on today. Hmm. Hmm. You see me welling up. It makes me really sad. I I am a bit drunk. Like I could definitely live this life every day. I just wish I was here with someone else. I don't know. Dream massive eyes and a piggy nose. So I've got that's what I've got. I'm actually really drunk. <laughs> I'm such a grandma. I'm such a grandma. Look at that hair. I literally look like I've been electrocuted. I'm tired this morning. Like super, super tired. I think I burnt my scalp yesterday, but like I didn't have it in a middle parting, so it didn't burn there. It's like burnt like where I'm basically going bold at the side, which is really great. Right, I'm gonna get up guys some breakfast. Um I think I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna get for breakfast today. Put my gym stuff on, go to the gym. I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do at the gym today because I did legs yesterday, obviously I could because they had like a barbell, so I did a couple of bits, but there's not any other machines, like I can't really do like proper like back workout. I'm gonna go get some breakfast, I'll show you what I get today. They've got basically, they've got everything. They've got like, like cooked breakfast, toast, pastries. They've got pancakes as well. I think I'm gonna save that for the last day though because I could eat a million pancakes and I don't really want to at the moment. I'm gonna get a little bit of a cooked breakfast today. I did have some yesterday that was actually really, really nice. They have like little sausages, but they're not like sausage sausages. They're like, um, like, more, like Frankfurt's, like hot dogs, and I love them. Oh my God, I literally love them. See, these sausages are literally insane. I don't know what that is. It looks like bacon, but actually there was bacon on there as well, so I don't think it is bacon. Hash brown, which are like the nicest hash browns, and some scrambled egg and some beans. I also, when I have my breakfast, I just put my headphones on and like, Put calm music on and just be in a calm zen, do you know what I mean? I just feel like in the mornings it's nice to not speak to anybody. Also, how glowy does my skin look? Congrats to her. So I've come to the gym. Again, there's no one here. Someone has been here since I came here yesterday, so there is also somebody else at this hotel that does use the gym. Um, but there's no one here at the moment. I am gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do a little warm up on the treadmill and then I'm just gonna do some... I think I'm just gonna do like general upper body stuff and just see what I can do because... There's not much in here, so it's kind of difficult to do everything. So I'm just going to do some general stuff. Right, I'm back from the gym. I actually had a really good little um like upper body session actually it was really really good i tell you what if i had a gym like that that was just my own gym i would be there all the time because i've started like trying so many new things that i would never ever try in like public gym like i'd be worried that i'd get them wrong and stuff i tried like so many new things like i was doing pull-ups but like obviously i can't actually do pull-ups but like with like a, you know those long like the long bands that you put underneath your feet so i was doing pull-ups with them which i would never ever try to do in a, in a gym like a different gym because i'd just be so nervous to try um so i was doing those which i was really really proud about um just a couple of exercises that i wouldn't try to do and now the biggest decision of the day is what bikini to put on today i really don't know i think i'm gonna try and go to the beach tomorrow so i'm gonna save like a cute bikini for the beach tomorrow this is my bikini of choice today um, you would have seen it in my um, Sheen Hall if you had watched my Sheen Hall. This is my bikini of choice and I'm just going to put loads of oil all over me. I do put baby oil all over my body. Now, if your skin is okay within the sun, do it, go for it. If it's not, don't because um, you will tan very quickly slash burn if you've got very fair skin. I'm absolutely not influencing everybody to go and rub baby oil all over themselves before they lie in the sun for five hours because I'm very aware that's not the best. The best of influencing decisions. The worst thing about having breakfast in the morning, as I said, I don't want to have breakfast, is I now feel really, really bloated. <laughs> feel really grim. I'm on a long piece of holiday, I'm not, I'm not gonna have breakfast. On. Another thing that's really difficult about being on holiday on your own, guys, I don't have anyone to do my back, which is really quite frustrating. <laughs> I'm literally stood there like by the pool, like, eh, <laughs> like trying to get my own back. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world. Slime. Now what I do do is put SPF on my face because I do not want to look like a 60 year old woman at 30 years old. That's me. I'm ready to sun it up. Woo! It's been a few hours since I've spoken to you, to be honest. It's been, it's been quite a few hours. I've literally just laid in the sun for about five hours this morning. I'm back, got in the shower and dried my hair because in a minute after lunch I'm going to go to these shops because I didn't bring my tripod with me. 
which is just so annoying. Like, you know when you sit there and you like plan, like try and remember everything that you need to bring to go on holiday and I forgot my fucking tripod, which means that I've, got, I've literally got so much content to take and I don't have a tripod, which is really frustrating. So I'm going to have to go and buy one. Lunch for today. I literally just went for like lunch match stuff. I don't even know what half that is. I've got no idea that is. That's chicken. I've got some pasta, some salad and a piece of pizza. I'm actually going to the gym whilst I'm here, which is really, really good. But when I get home, I can be really, really good and lose lots of weight. But at the moment, I'm getting free food. Why would I not? Like, oh, there's a bird over there eating that person's <laughs> I, I am a bit drunk, <laughs> it feels so weird because I'm just, I'm on my own, but I have, a bit, I have had quite a lot to drink and I actually feel a bit drunk. I'm going to drink some water in a second just to, you know, soak me up a tiny little bit. We've got a 2000 sing-along playlist on and we're going to be listening to that and slowly getting ready. I'm not actually going to get ready lots, as in I'm not going to put lots of makeup on because the space is a bit fragile. I look so much more red in there than I am in person, I swear to God guys. Don't come for me because I'm not, I'm not that burnt. I, it just, this camera. Also, I definitely burn a little bit. I just walked around it for a bit and I think I definitely burn on my chest, but you know. It's literally boiling, look at my face. I put some makeup on just because I like to like sh show myself how presentable I can sometimes look, but I'm literally boiling. When you leave your room, because you have to take the key, it turns the aircon off. You have to like slip the key back in the thing for it to turn the aircon back on. So it's actually still hot in this house as well. Mm. Hmm. Hmm, let's just hope it's better in the morning, yeah? I think I'm gonna have a nap. I'm gonna get in bed and I'm gonna have a nap because I want one. I just had a nap and I literally feel like I'm on a different planet. I've got a banging headache as well. I need to go drink some liquid, like non-alcoholic liquid. I feel like all I've been drinking is alcohol. Which doesn't really hydrate you, does it, Ella? Like, I, I am just such grandma. I'm such a grandma, it's ridiculous, but it's actually quite nice because being on holiday on your own, you can just do what you want. Like, I can go for a nap for three hours in the, probably the most crucial part of the day when you're on holiday. And no one's like, I don't get up, I want to do something. Or, like, I can go to bed at 10pm if I want to. And no one's like, well, you're being boring. Because that's what I want to do. And I'm, I'm doing that. I can get up at half seven in the morning to go to the gym. And there's no one saying, oh, no, like, stay in bed, have a lie. And, like, I can do whatever the hell I want. I literally can do it. I'm not saying that, like, every, anybody that I would have gone on holiday with would be like that. But... I don't have to feel guilty for doing the things I want to do. Like I don't have to take into account what, what someone else wants to do. I really don't know what to do now though because I'm really not hungry at this current moment but I can imagine in like half an hour I will be. But the food ends at my hotel at half nine. Which is ridiculous by the way. Like why does food finish at half past nine? That's so early. I might order a pizza. Like order a takeaway. Is that a thing? Can you do that to a hotel? Well, I guess you probably can. Probably just take it to the, to the reception. I don't think I'm going to go to the beach tomorrow. Just because I think I'm a little bit... It's looking a lot better, actually. But I'm a little bit red. I might feel all right in the morning. What's wrong with me? Good morning, everybody. Another day. Another day. Come for breakfast again. I always... Whenever I come, I think I'm going to have something other than, like, hot breakfast. But I always want the hot breakfast. I think I'm going to have some cereal after this as well. I'm just going to go all out. Um, I'm going to do leg day at the gym as well. Because I actually quite enjoyed it with the barbell. So I think I'm going to do that again at the gym today. Like, I could definitely live this life every day. Like, I'm not bored. Like, I'm not going to get bored. Like, it's basically like lockdown. Because I've got a strict routine, but on holiday. It's so nice. Look at those tan lines. Oh, God. Oh dear. Here's the gym fit for today. Let's go. I'm gonna do a quick gym session today because I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really in the mood, but it's gonna be done. So I realise I haven't really vlogged much today. Oh, also I'm fully burnt. Like I'm fully burnt. I'm trying to stay out of the sun, but it's really, really difficult. Like there's nothing you can do out of the sun, really. So um, <laughs> I have been putting sun cream on and I have actually had my top half covered up or in the shade. I've been under an umbrella today. I've really nearly finished my book now. Like I'm really, really close to the end. I think I've probably got like three or four chapters left. So I think I'm gonna read that in here. Stop the sunbeds for today. I'm coming to terms with the fact that 
it's Wednesday today. Is it Wednesday today? Yeah, tomorrow is my last like full day. And then to be fair, I've got the most of Friday. Like a coach transfer doesn't pick me up until half past five. So tomorrow is my next like full day. I'm actually really, really sad. It is what it is. Like I'm going home and then I'm hopefully going to Korean Fields on Sunday. Hopefully, we haven't got tickets yet. If we don't have tickets, we can't get tickets. We're just gonna go on a really big night out. But hopefully going to Korean Fields on Sunday. I am excited for my own bed to be fair. I haven't been sleeping great in this bed here. I'm a very, now that I've got like my own place and it's my own sacred place I just love my home like it makes me feel so safe and, and comfortable um so as much as I'm enjoying it out here my sleep hasn't been great to be honest with you I'm gonna chill I need to go and get my book actually I've left it out there on the sunbed I had a really nice sunbed today as well guys I had one of the ones that was like cushiony rather than not anyway that's enough of me blabbering hello guys right so I've been awful I haven't vlogged I literally haven't vlogged all day today at all. I've just got ready because I mean, I literally am going to go in that building there for dinner. So I thought I'd get ready. Why the hell not? Um, I'll show you my outfit quick. It's from Forever Unique. They sent it to me. Um, so I did just take some content in it as well. I'm just like just getting used to just chewing some content and just people watching me and just not really giving a shit anymore, which is quite nice. I think I'm going to have some dinner. I don't know what they're gonna have for dinner today. I'm not like hungry, hungry, but I think I'm literally gonna have dinner and then go and lie on one of the sound, sun, sound loungers, sun loungers, and read a book. I don't know if you're allowed to lie on sun loungers late, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I finished the book I'm reading currently. Well, I'm not reading anymore because I finished it, but I finished that book. So I'm gonna start a new one. I wanted to read three books on holiday, but that's not gonna happen. I'm only gonna read two. I and mean, that's still an improvement. I don't think I've read a book since I was like in year seven. So it's a bit of an improvement. So I'm currently led. I'm led on a sun lounger in a little bit of a different scenario as it was earlier. Watching the sun go down. It's pretty much gone down now, to be honest with you. And I'm going to start reading this book. Now, I said that I'd finished the other one that I'd like, read before. So I'm going to read this one now. Look at the lighting here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the lighting. My face looks amazing. I haven't got any foundation on even today because um, my foundation has been making me look really pale because my face is really tan. So I've just got a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then just like contour on as well. Bar is inviting me. I might have a couple of glasses of wine as well whilst I'm here and then I'm gonna have another early night because we get up tomorrow and do it all over again. Good morning, everybody. It is my last full day today. I have got most of tomorrow, so it's not my last day. Like it's my last, second to last day kind of, but it's my last like full day, which is kind of sad. It is about five to eight, and obviously breakfast starts at eight o'clock, so I'm gonna be going for breakfast at eight o'clock. I've also got my gym stuff on, because I'm gonna be going to the gym straight afterwards. I slept so badly yesterday, like literally so bad, like it was so annoying. I haven't been sleeping well here. Ow! <sighs> I haven't been sleeping well here at all really. Um, I'm excited to go home and actually sleep. Like, I, like I've been sleeping so badly. I don't really know why because the bed's comfy. I'm gonna have another like sunbathing day today because my sunburn's gone down so much. Like it's just tan now, which is good. So I'm gonna have a proper sunbathing day today. Read some of my book. I'm literally, oh, it's over there. I've started, what's it called? Me Before You. Started that book yesterday. I started it whilst I was out watching the sunset, which was really, really cute. Um, and I've actually got quite a bit through it already. I actually really, really enjoy it. I did say yesterday, I think, that I was going to go out and get a pizza for dinner. I didn't end up doing that, obviously. Did, I just, I don't know what it was. Like, I just didn't feel up to going out last night. Like, I just, I felt a bit down, like, the whole of yesterday. I didn't really vlog much, to be honest. I just felt a bit down. I just felt a bit, not lonely, because, like, I don't feel lonely. I just felt a bit, like, I just wish... I was here with someone else, I don't know. I just felt like, I just I wanted, yeah, I don't know, I just felt a bit shit. <laughs> but what can I do, do you know what I mean? It's fine, but today I'm gonna like make the most of today because obviously it's my last day. So I am gonna go out for dinner later. I am gonna go out for dinner later. I'm gonna go out and get pizza because I really fancy pizza. They don't do nice pizza here at all. And I'm a proper pizza gal. <laughs> I've just had a little nap. See, this is what I mean by, I don't really know what's up with me at the moment because I just can't stop napping and sleeping. Um, I'm now gonna try and take some photos. Now, I know that there's gonna be lots of people watching me and thinking, what the hell are you doing? Um, but I need to take some photos in this outfit, so I'm gonna, gonna just do it. I'm gonna brave it, I'm gonna do it. So now it isn't actually on my balcony, but it's on this bit here. So I need to try and find a way to pop the phone up in the middle of the room, because I still haven't got a fucking tripod. So I'm gonna, oh, that's my alarm going off, telling me to get up. The guy said that he was gonna find one for me, but I've never, I've not heard back from him, so I, I don't think that's happening. Yeah, so I think I'm thinking I'm either gonna take some, like with this bit here, or there's also this cool thing here, which I think could look cute in a photo. This could, what, where is it, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, it's white against white, so it's kinda hard to see. Watch me struggle, guys.
another day, another lunch time. Um, I've literally been, oh, I really need to stop wearing glasses when I'm out sunbathing. I'm wearing them because otherwise I can't read my book, but it has given me like glasses lines. Look, right, so this is a huge book. Now normally, this book, this kind of size of book would really scare me because I'm not very good at reading at all. But look how much I've read. You can see where my like car is. I was saying to my mum on the phone earlier, I've already read one book and I'm part way through another. That's probably the most books I've read in the last 10 years of my life. Like in 10 years, I don't think I've read a single book. So I'm doing pretty well. But actually I'm really enjoying this one. This was Me Before You, which I've seen the film of. So actually it's, it's actually a lot easier to read a book when you've seen the film because you kind of know what's happening. These lunches are my favorite thing. Now I've no idea what that is, but I thought it looks quite nice. It looks kind of like egg, but kind of like potato, but I've got no idea what it is, but this is my lunch today. Yum. I might be a little bit drunk. I'm actually quite drunk. <laughs> it feels really weird being drunk on your own in the middle of the day. It was really strange. Now I've come out of the sun into the normalness. I feel more drunk than I was when I was outside. Anyway, I'm gonna get out my bikini, put an outfit on, and I'm gonna go out for dinner. I'm just gonna go for a little walk and go out for dinner. I'm not gonna lie in bed, because as soon as I lie in bed, I wanna fall asleep. So I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna put an outfit on and maybe go to get a drink from the bar and then go out because if once you've started drinking, when you stop drinking for like an hour, you need to sleep. I don't want to do that. Actually, I'm really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, I'm done, I'm finished. I've got red lip, guys. I've got red lip on. 7.37, now the sun does set. It does set at some point, so I really need to get down to the beach. What have I got? I've got AirPods, that's it. I probably need some more things, actually. What else do I need? ID, just in case you got ID'd, because I look about 12. Right, I'm gonna go and try and take some photos as well. Ah, wish me luck. Where's my ID? Where did I put it? Oh, I think it's in this bag. Hello. Right, so I've got ready. I don't know if I showed you actually me ready. I think I did show you me ready. Did I show you me ready? I can't remember. I've just taken some photos and got a drink. I am now gonna go for a walk to the beach and go get some food. I just don't really fancy the food that they do here today. I fancy going out for dinner. So I'm gonna go find a pizza place. I love an Italian, I'm an Italian kind of gal and I haven't had any proper Italian food since I've been here and that's very unlikely because normally I'd have Italian every single night. The sun's gonna set really quite shortly, especially when I go down to the beach because I have to go down a bit to get to the beach. So I'm gonna go to the beach first, watch the sunset, then go get some food. Might have a look around the shops. I think some of the shops are open really, really late and they do loads of like paper design and stuff, which if you watch this video, Actually, I don't even know if I've mentioned it in this video. I'm gonna mention it a little bit later. But if you've seen my Instagram stories, you know I quite like fake stuff because I'm not gonna spend my money on the real stuff when I can buy the fake stuff and it looks exactly, exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? This light is stunning. Hello, right, so I'm sat at a Italian restaurant. I've wanted one of these for literally ages. So I finally sat here and I'm having one. I've got a really good seat as well. Like, I'm, I'm like really on my own. Like, everyone's behind me. I'll show you in front of me in a minute. There's no one in front of me. I think I'm just gonna get a garlic bread and a pizza. I haven't decided what yet, because the menu is literally freaking huge. I hate it when menus are this big. Like, why do they give you that much choice? I actually don't know what I'm gonna pick. Like, why do they, I don't know why they give you so much choice, because it just makes it so hard to actually pick something. See, there's nobody that side. And I've got a view of the sea and kind of the sunset. If that building wasn't there, I'd be able to see the sunset, but that building is there, so I can't really see it, but it's still cute. So again, guys, I've come and sat down on my own for dinner. And they played the table for two people, like I literally just sat here. Just put a knife and fork next to me and a knife and fork the other side with someone else is coming to sit here. Makes me really sad. It makes me really wish that was someone else would be. Can you see me welling up? It makes me really sad. I'm actually so fine to be on my own, but when they think that there's going to be somebody else and there isn't somebody else, it just makes it even more awkward and it just makes it feel really more weird. But you know, I do. 
My food has come, guys. Here it is. Oh my god, that cheesy garlic bread looks unbelievable. Look at this. Came over, was like, you on your own? I was like, yeah. She was like, oh. Where's the other? Set of I was like, yeah, I have one It's just me, hun. It's just me. Well, it's stuff like that that just makes us really strange. Like, it literally fine until someone points it out. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, so I had to go to the toilet on my own. Obviously, I'm worried about leaving my drink here, which is so annoying. Like, it's just, it's just, like, it's just difficult. It's just difficult. It's just everything's a little bit more difficult when you're, especially as a girl. But I'm getting by. I'm getting by. It's fine. But I'm so bad at people watching from here, right? So down there. There's someone that's doing um, hair braiding and someone that's doing caricatures and I can't help but watch them, literally, look. This lady here is doing um, hair braids to little girls. She's done like loads since I've been here. And there's a caricature going on here. She's just done this lady and she's doing the man now. I've always wanted to be able to have a caricature done. Me and my boy, better than have a boy. <laughs> I'm sat eating my pizza watching somebody else get them on then. But it's incredible. I love caricatures. I'd love to know what they did for me. I feel like they'd make me, like, when look at me like this, I feel like they'd make me, like, huge fucking eyes. Like, you know when they have, like, extreme massive eyes and a piggy nose? So I've got, that's what I've got. <laughs> I don't have any cash, but I'm really tempted to go get a caricature. I just, I'm really, really tempted. But, like, I don't have any cash, so I don't know if you take this card. I'm so tempted to get one. I'm sure there's a cash boy somewhere around here, but I'm so tempted to get one. It's ridiculous. You're gonna be a good keepsake. Like, what am I gonna do with it? I don't bloody know. A couple hours later, since I last spoke to you, my camera died um, when I was watching watching pizza eating the pizza. I didn't get a caricature done because I didn't have any cash and because I wasn't going to sit there and just get my face done. I thought it would be a bit weird even though I really did want to get one done. Uh, when I got home, I went to the bar for a few drinks. The bar, like the pool bar, is open till 11. So I got a few drinks. I actually bought one with me. Um, I was going to go out tonight because some random person came up to me and told me that he owns this club and it was like a, like a disco, like fun club and I quite like disco music so I was really gonna go because I was a bit drunk earlier and then I got home and I realised fuck that I can't be arsed I'm not gonna go I don't want to go I don't want to socialise with any people I just want to be on my own so I bought I got a drink at the bar and I sat at the bar and I drank it and then I got this drink and I brought it back to my room she's put more alcohol than that than, than mixer that's for sure I think I look like how the world looks to me right now why am I not in focus what's going on thing is I'm such I'm such a grandma I'm such a grandma it's 10 to 11 and I want to go to sleep I want to get up early in the morning and go to the gym have a nice breakfast and enjoy my day and I want to go to bed I'm so boring I'm literally gonna drink this drink makes me go to sleep take my makeup off also my makeup looks sick today I haven't got any foundation on anyway I'm gonna drink this drink take my makeup off brush my teeth go to bed see you in the morning <laughs> Morning guys, it is the last morning. It's the last morning, so sad. I am um, gonna go and have some breakfast in a second. I'm not that hungry, I've got a little bit of a poorly stomach to be honest with you. <laughs> um, I think all of just the like mismatched food and all of the everything like that, it's just, it's just making me feel a bit meh. But um, what is that on my lip? Is it because I had my lipstick on? So I'm not gonna go to the gym today because I'm gonna pack up all my stuff. I've gotta be out of the um, room by 12. My transfer doesn't pick me up until half five though, so I'm just gonna lie out in the sun all day. Hi right, guys, it's my final breakfast. I'm sat in my corner and it's the final breakfast that I'm gonna be having here. I'm really, really sad. I'm actually super sad to be leaving. Like, I, yesterday I was kind of ready to go home, but then now I'm like sad. Like, I just wanna do it all over again, but I am gonna do it all over again. In a couple of months, I'll definitely book myself another solo trip, I think. But I've got my breakfast this morning. I wasn't going to get a full English because I know that I told you earlier that my stomach hurts a little bit, but I just, it's the only thing I fancy in there, to be honest. The cereal doesn't look that nice and the pastry is really dry. But yeah, look at the, um, look at the view. Beautiful. I'm going to sit and eat this now. It's all packed up. We're all packed up and ready to go. Look, so I've got, this is just my bag for just today's stuff. This is my, airport outfit in there because obviously I'm going to get changed later because I'm not going to wear this to the airport and then my suitcase all packed up I'm actually so sad I'm wearing this bikini top today because I'm going to go out in the sun and I feel like obviously I've got a little bit of tan lines like a couple of different ones so I feel like this will get rid of a few of them as well 
Um, I'm super, super sad to be leaving. It's like 11 o'clock. Um, the sun hasn't actually really come out yet. It's kind of like very bright, but it's like half coming out. I'm gonna go and check out of the hotel, put my bag in the little storage bit and then just go and read my book. I'm nearly halfway through it. So I reckon by the time I'm home, after having been in the airport and all that kind of stuff, I actually reckon I might have finished it. So that's pretty good. Say goodbye to the little, little flat. I think I might definitely come back. I think maybe once you know somewhere, it's like good to come back. And then at the same time, I do want to try different places. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to go check out and then I'm going to go and just lie in the sun. I've got my final lunch, guys, and a glass of wine. Three hours until I have to get off the sunbed and get ready to go to the airport. I'm at the airport. I'm here. I am actually sat in a disabled seat, but I promise if someone disabled comes, I will, but I can give it to them. I'm at the airport now, ready to go home. I've got a lovely tan and a very, very burnt molly nose, so thank you so much to Mum for giving me that. I've just got a bacon and brie panini. I'm not even that hungry, to be honest, but I am not buying food on the plane, and I'm not making food when I get home at one o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to have to eat now. Um, and also an iced coffee, which is the first iced coffee I've had since I've been here, because anywhere other than England or America, I don't know what iced coffees are, so it's literally impossible. It's even in a hot coffee cup, because I really don't know what it is. Um, but I'm sat here at the airport with a view of the runway, saying bye to the lovely weather. The weather in Manchester at the moment actually isn't even that bad, so I don't actually mind coming back. I'm going to Creamfields on Sunday. I wasn't going to Creamfields on Sunday until this morning, and now I'm going, which I'm super, super excited about. So I did a huge PLT order this morning that's arriving tomorrow, and I think I'm going to start weekly vlogging again because it keeps me busy, it keeps me entertained. Obviously, I'm starting my new job on next Monday. That's super exciting. I think I am just going to keep vlogging because it keeps me entertained and I know that you guys like it and I, I like getting messages from you guys telling me that you like my videos so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> anyway I'm going to end this vlog here because there's not really much else that's going to happen. I'm going to get on the plane, probably be quite miserable and then have a miserable journey home because I really don't like, I really don't like getting home from an airport. I absolutely hate it. It's my worst thing to do ever. So I'm going to end the vlog here and um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really really enjoyed. Tip for everybody. If you're feeling a bit down, you've had your heart broken, go on holiday on your own. Pack a bag, book a ticket and go on holiday on your own. I did all inclusive, so obviously I didn't have to think about going for meals like breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I just literally had it all booked and paid for. Um, but yeah, go on holiday on your own. Here's a broken heart, guys. I'll tell you now, to be fair, I'm fine now. But I know as soon as I get home, it's all going to hit me like a ton of bricks. So <laughs> maybe it's just a short-lived... Um, recovery but it was definitely i'm definitely so 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 glad i've done it so many people have messaged me saying um saying that they wish that they could do it or they wish they had the balls to do it or they wanted to be able to do it and i've literally just said just do it just go and do it like it's it don't get me wrong it's scary and it feels really weird the first time i went into that canteen and ate food on my own i thought oh my god every single person in here is looking at me thinking what the hell are you doing yes they probably are they're probably thinking what are you doing but after the first time you've done it it feels normal um, so yeah, highly, highly recommend if you've even half contemplated, go and do it because you will not regret it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Bye.